My name's Jay Wainert. I run my arts organization, Intuitive Eye, and I'm here this afternoon with Eric Sandlin. We've opened a pop-up show here at Moran Valverde Studios, adjacent to Redbud Gallery, of Eric Sandlin's abstract paintings. The show is called Where We're Going. We opened last night and had a great opening, a lot of interest and energy around Eric's work, and we'll talk about it this afternoon. I'm glad to be here with you, Eric. Good to be here. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit about your chosen medium. Okay, well, I work exclusively, exclusively with spray paint, and I don't have brushes. I just go out of my backyard, get a canvas, and kind of go crazy with spray paint and see what happens. And I don't use brushes because earlier in my life, I loved art and I tried a lot of different things, but was never good at it. When I tried to control something with a brush or with different types of paint, and then one day I tried spray paint. And it seemed when I got out of trying to control what I was doing, because the spray paint kind of interacts in a way that you can't really control too much, uh, that's when I found something that I could do and enjoy doing and seemed to be something that other people enjoyed too. Interesting. And so then you have been developing that medium for how long? When did you begin? About seven years ago. Okay. So. And I imagine from knowing you that it's a medium that you are always discovering and innovating within. I'm always discovering new things. Uh, since I painted my backyard, I'll just use kind of whatever's lying around. Um, sometimes things, most of the time, things happen that I'm not expecting. And so when I kind of take myself out of it and let the paint go where it's going and I follow it is when I discover new things, new techniques. Um, I'm always surprised by kind of how it ends because it's never how it, I was thinking it was going to be when I started, but that's, that's why I love it is kind of discovering something new every time I paint. Yeah. Because with the elements too, it changes how the paint interacts on the canvas, so I can't predict what's going to happen. Yeah. Hearing you talk about these elements of looseness, the intuitive process of it, the the unstructured, unplanned process seems at a flip side of your day job. It is. And I, does it function as that? Talk, it, talk about that a little bit. It does. I'm also an attorney, a litigation attorney here in Houston. So it's very structured and you need to, I spend my days, you know, and representing someone else, so needing to do what's best for them to represent them in their legal issues. Uh, so it's a very focused job. So then when I get home and I get to paint, it's allowing it to just open up. And like I said, it, I let the painting go where it's gonna go. So it's not me trying to control it or me come to a certain outcome, which is my day job. I'm trying to come to a certain outcome. Yeah. So it's great for me to be able to let that go and just let something happen and see where it goes. Mm -hmm. And that's where I find my fulfillment in the art side of what I do is being able to uh, take myself out of it almost and uh -huh. not be the one that's in control um, and letting it happen and then seeing something that I think is okay come out of it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That's great. And as well, that some of those ideas tie into your chosen form, which is abstraction and not figurative painting. Correct. And I think, I mean, that really comes from I've tried that and I'm terrible at it. So being able to let go those elements also is hard being an attorney. I want to be in control. So drawing a figure or drawing something like that or seeing other artists do things that I like, but knowing, you know what, that's not my forte. That's not what I'm I've been good at in the past. So being able to do something abstract and do something that fits me on my artistic side. Yeah. Given that, what do you and what would you hope that your paintings evoke in others? What, what, what do you 
hope that your audience gets out of them? Um, I mean, my favorite thing in having a show and interacting with a lot of people, seeing, seeing my paintings, is just hearing that each person has their own experience with the painting. Because I'm not putting something on a canvas that I want someone to say that this is what this is and this is what it means. It's that everyone can look at something and see something completely different. Yeah. And it's different than what I even see in it. But mm -hmm. seeing other people interact with it gives me fulfillment too, just like knowing how I felt when I made it. Um, and then seeing people come up with things that I never noticed before about a painting or seeing what they think it looks like versus what I think it looks like. Yeah. Um, so that, that, that element of surprise that you mentioned in the creation of the painting also continues Correct. when others are with them. Correct. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I like that idea. Great. Well, I've enjoyed our, our talk this afternoon. Eric, where can people find out more about your work? Uh, I have a website. It's ericsandlin.com, and it's E-R-I-C-K-S-A-N-D-L-I-N.com. And then you can find my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter through the website.